What is up, guys? Mitch or Didi. Again, we're doing another tier list. So tier lists are just easy content, obviously, and they're good for people who are getting into the game. Maybe if you pull a character, you see if the character is good or not. But this is going to be a 2024 Moonlight tier list. So it's going to cover all the Moonlight characters in the game. There's a Moonlight event that is going on. You're going to get a free Moonlight 5-star ticket that is just going to be a random 5-star Moonlight, which is awesome. But there's also going to be a 100 summon event so every day you log in you can do five moonlight summons meaning you're going to get a bunch of moonlight characters a lot of them will be three stars we already know that everyone i'm going to get 100 elsons elsons a three-star trash character but you are probably going to get at least something good out of that even some of the four stars are really good so i'm going to go ahead and make a tier list out of this i have twitch chat to second guess my opinions like always so we have abyssal Euphine. i'm going to put an s tier she's very very good we have einzel going he's a limited character i'm just going to drop him down to d he is a collab character you're not going to see him he's the only ml5 collab character and he will likely come back within the next year or so okay so Ambitious Tywin maybe deserves SS tier for now. As I'm going through this, obviously I'll explain some of the characters a little bit and make arguments on them if you want to listen. Otherwise, the end of the video, you can see my final thoughts if you skip to the very end. Also, I'll try to get a picture of this tier list that I can put up for you guys to see. So yeah, he's broken. Move cam. All right, I'll move the camera again. Okay, so here we go. Back to it. We have Apoc Ravi. I'm putting her down into B tier. She's still usable, but fallen off quite a bit. Arbiter Vildred, I think I'm going to put into S tier. This is for PvP, by the way, guys. Moonlight characters are PvP units. PvP, they, Moonlight characters are elementalists, basically, and are designed for PvP. That's how they explain them in the game. So do not ask, is this character usable in PvE? Some of them, maybe you could, but these characters are not designed for that. So I'm not going to entertain that question. RC Mercedes, I'm going to put down at C. Architect Leica, either C or B. I think, I think she's probably semi-decent right now. She requires really good gear. Astromancer Elena, down at C. Uh, we got Bellion. Bellion is A. Bellion's either A or, a or S. You guys will have to uh, let me know. I think Bellion's S, actually. Bellion's really good. Blood Moon Haste is also S. Potential double S. That's a hard one. Uh, we'll, we'll definitely have to break up some of these. Briar was We'll put an A. S, dog walking E7. Yeah. She, RB. Arby's actually a PvE character too, which is rare. There's like maybe five ML5 PvE characters. Go to Charles going all the way down at C. Dark Corp is going all the way down at C. Desert Dribble Sar going all the way down at C, even though it's potentially B. The thing is, just because a character is C tier doesn't mean they're not usable. It just means that you, you will use them less the best way to describe it i'm putting ddr up at double s tier for sure it's not even close dillabet i'm putting down at c which is not not bad use a bull tier d tier is trash tier okay and then the rest of them are other tiers yeah ddr is double s so that's death deal ray you get him for free though so if you do not get him from the summon event, you can make sure you get him from uh, Selective Summon 2. So, Commander Pavel, usable character. Not broken, not crazy. I'm going to put Dragon King Shurn at B tier. She's a very good character overall. She provides a lot of things to your team. So, she is one of the main units to fight DDR, depending on your playstyle. So, very good character to have. Next up, we have Imperial of Illinav. She is still new. It's hard to put her in a spot yet. She's either going to be A or S. The thing is, she cuts off a lot of other ML5s and current meta characters just by existing. So it's hard not to put her up in the same tier as Bellion. But I'm not sure if she would be A or S currently. She's definitely very good for arena and auto comps. So if you're autoing arena and things like that, very strong character. Next up, Eternal Ludwig. Put him at B because he's only usable in specific playstyle, but he's very good. Actually, Ludwig might deserve A. Fallen Cecilia is usable as much as people disagree on that as a late pick character. Very good. Flitica is either B or A. We're going to have to determine that. The B and A are going to be the hardest category to differentiate characters between. Illinav would, would, won't be an ML summon event, though, but this is just ML tier list. This isn't just ML summon event. The thing is, you get five free summons a day. You could pull her, right? She's not, there's, it's not a selector. We're not, that's not a Moonlight selector. This is just a tier list of the characters. So you could pull her. This is for people, if they're summoning, they pull a cool character, they can look at the list, see if the character is good. DDR was free. How sorry, returning player after healing six anniversary event. So there is, uh, 
it's you know how there's a moonlight blessing at the beginning to get rb or specter tenebria or those other characters there's a second one that you unlock later that you can get that so it's the second moonlight blessing okay so no ml5s here judge kise is trash here guys even after her buff I should I I don't want to put Judge Kise even into usable after her buff. I don't want to bait people into getting her. Lone Crystal Blown is gonna go A tier. Last Rider Crow is bumped down to B tier, if not C tier. Last Rider Crow's really bad, especially even with Illinav coming. Really? Illinav said she's or LMH says she's insane. Who? Illinav? Who? Who's insane? He fell off that hard. Last Rider Crow is very, very rough right now with all the characters. Kisei? After her buff, Kisei 4, in-game... I mean, okay, Kisei is definitely at least usable. We'll put her here. Maybe she will be insane. But re realistically, low base speed. I don't see it. I don't, I don't see it. I don't see why you'd ever pick Kisei when you can pick a Ludwig. Right? Why would you ever pick Kisei when you can pick a Ludwig? Does she still have the reset on her skills? That's okay. Judge Kisa will probably be between one of these two. I don't personally see her going crazy, except for the craziest characters. Flitica build, high speed, effectiveness. How is trash tier above S? Because there's an extra tier. We're going to delete it. I don't know how to delete a tier. Okay, I don't know how to delete a tier. There's just an extra tier there. F is mega trash. Okay, let's get back to it. You guys are wasting time here. All right, next up we have ML Ken. He's usable at best. Meteor Cowric. I actually want, I mean, guys, the last rider crowd's tough. Can we move Blood Moon Haste up? Probably. We'll probably move him up. Hey, Ronan, thank you for using your prime. Subscribe. It's even worse. Yeah, if, if, you, if you're rated F, F is a bigger insult than trash, right? Made Chloe. Like, guys, last, who has picked a last rider crow? A last rider crowd dies to ML Haste, dies to Senya. Last rider crowd is bad right now. I'm putting him down. Not that in that sense, but all right. Landy's going double S. You guys can't tell me after watching the Seven World Cup that the game does not revolve around Death Dealer Ray and Landy. F is for well, yeah. You guys cannot tell me the game does not revolve around these two characters. Crowd is tough right now, yeah. Like these two characters are the entire game of Epic Seven PvP. They are. You can't. You cannot change my mind. Luminous double S too. Politus will be double S. Operator cigarette. I think Operator cigarette might deserve trash. He, she can't kill anything, can she? I mean, she's most ML fives are usable. ML Sharoon higher. You think ML Sharoon deserves here? Op sig almost deserves trash. It's it's so hard to use her. I already knew she was after the content creator battle. Got in, in my landy out of it. Trash tier, op sig. I think she deserves trash. She's, she's one of the worst MO5s right now. Rylet goes unusable. He's not as good as I thought he'd be. I reckon Ronnie gets A tier. She's very, very good. Pirate Captain Flan, we'll put her at usable for her buff. C, Phantom Polytus, double S for sure. ML Senna, she'll be on here. We're, we're still going through. Spectre, Tenebria. Overall, Spectre Tenebria use, I'll put it B. She's not very good in PvP anymore, but she's still the PvE queen. This is the one. These two are the exceptions. Your Moonlight Blessing character, uh, your first one. They're both PvE characters, but RB is really good in PvP too, whereas Spectre Tenebria is just better at PvE than RB. But Strays, B tier. After the World Cup, Strays right now, not bad. Also, Solitaria, not bad. Spirit Isolene, usable. Feel like I'm going to miss an ML5 going through this very easily. Sylvan Sage Vivian. Sylvan Sage Vivian, would you put A or B? There's a new situation interaction with Pirate and Flan now. Forgot, but streamer said it might be broken. Which streamer? You think A? I think A. I think, I think she's as good as these characters. All right, Specimen says, I think Spez is. I mean, for a Spez player, someone who is a Spez aficionado, he deserves B. Why Flid A? What's Flid? You think, you think, Flid is probably the same tier as Architect like right now. Okay, also Miss Ruel. Ruel doesn't even exist as an ML5. She, Ruel instant F tier for now. I think Ruel will get a buff. ML Shu is S tier. Very, very good. 
You lost so hard yesterday with Sez. Sue mentioned it, but I forgot. Oh. No idea. All right, Zio still S tier. Super, super nice character to have. Oh, uh, wait, we got to do the ML4s, boys. I mean, Silverblade R is hard not to put into trash tier if Opsig. Opsig and Silverblade, I would say, are probably about the same. Uh, is this an ML5 tier list or ML4 tier list? Uh, top model, we got to put at least B tier. All right, I'm going to throw A, or I'm going to throw, guys, if I do this, I guarantee I'm going to throw a bunch of the ML4s that are actually usable down here. I guarantee someone from the official episode of Discord will take a picture of it right here. I'm like, what is this take? All right, Sage Ball, B tier. Sage Ball's only, this is hard. Ayn's got to be at the bottom of trash. She's like trash liner. Okay, well, I'll change that later. I'm reading Moonlight tier list, so all Moonlights. Okay, that sucks. All right, well, BBK is going up there, and AOL. AOL, is AOL as strong as BBK? All right, hold on. Let me go back up to the top. I wish I could just sort by Moonlight characters only. There's, usually, they sort by five stars first, four stars second. So, Twisted Idol on K-Run. I'm putting him in usable. I don't care. BBK is broken right now. You think she's above AOL? Do people even use AOL? Yeah, into BBK. <laughs> yeah, in, into BBK, AOL is pretty solid. I mean, powerful right there. Emperor player. He's, he lets us all know he's Emperor. You missed Senya at the top? Are you high? Oh, I did. ML Senya, same. They're going to be right next to Haze. I think Haze is stronger. Eh, maybe not. They're about they're the same character in terms of power, I feel like. They're both really good. They'll probably get bumped up to double S. Okay, let me go through, make sure, let me know if I missed anybody else. LHC in the middle. I don't, I don't see LHC in the middle. Oh, LHC. All right, LHC, I think after LHC buffs, she's at least B. Little Queen Charlotte goes to usable. All right, I got those two. Now, you said middle, but they were on the right side. I was looking at the wrong spot. Okay, we got a Katie. So we're to the four stars. We have all the ML5s, correct? I'm going to do one last slow rotation. Let me know if I missed anything. Okay, do you see anything I missed? LQC B? Fair. Definitely not same tier as Garon. Would you say Sage Ball and Cezanne's B then too? LQC was at B tier this season. I mean, she's good. I know she's good. We're going to, guys, we're going to move everything. Don't worry. But I think Sage Ball gets B too because Sage Ball, honestly, Rylet, mm, Rylet's, Rylet's hard. Because I, I honestly, Archdemon Shadow and Rylet, I'd say are about the same power level right now. They're both okay. All these other characters, though, I would say are kind of rough. Closer Charles could be good if you have insane gear. Other than that, though, Ball destroys some Cleave Jassy. Yeah, I know he does. He's, he's really good, but I'm just, I don't want to put a character too high. I'd rather be a little behind. Put them a little lower than put them too high and get people's hopes up. All right. I'm just going to throw all the ML4 stars down at the bottom for now, and then we'll move them. Okay. Like Broman, I'm definitely not putting at the very bottom. I think Broman's not bad at all. Carmen's definitely going to be bumped up. I doubt I'll put Fighter Maya up at all. Uh, and Finner Hyza Katie's getting bumped up for sure. I guarantee somebody's going to complain about Great Chief. Or Great Chief Kwan is a PvE designed ML character, actually. And so it's getting closer. All right, some of the four stars are actually PvE characters. So I might make an actual PvE list, too. No, I'm not. It's too much, too much confusion. Last piece, Corinne. Bunny Dom, Peacemaker Furious, ML Leo. I do I include the three stars? I don't I think I'll just search out what what all three stars? Can you not filter at the top right? Oh my why didn't you tell me this an hour ago? I actually hate you guys. <laughs> I did? I ignored you. Look at my logs. I don't want to look at your logs. That's gross. Alright, guys. Now we're here. Alright. This would have been nice a while ago. All right, do you guys think these, these guys deserve top tier? It's hard to differentiate S and double S, right? Look at his log. I don't want to see his log. I heard it's massive. 
All right, so Assassin Sid, usable. A. Coley, trash. Assassin Cartusia, honestly, trash. Oxlot, maybe usable. Back at Arm and trash. Broman's going into B tier. I think Broman's great. Blaze Dingo, trash. Slash the Mercedes, trash. C Dom, honestly, trash. Champ Zerato, trash. Crimson and Rin, don't bother. Crimson, Armin, up to A, minimum. Fighter Mai, I'm putting usable just because it's my tier list. I can do what I want. Uh, I use her all the time. Infinite Horizon and Katie's. All right, Carmen goes to S. Infinite Horizon and Katie goes there. And Kwazu goes into usable. New players could probably utilize him. Aquana would get a PvE tier. I'm going to put her into there. Last piece, Karin. May... No, last piece, Karin just gets usable. Don't include trash ML4s. I mean, it's ML4 tier list. Gotta include them all. Bunny Dom goes up same place she does. Roman Warrior Leo, no thank you, no thank you. G-Perg, probably usable. I don't know. I haven't tried to use G-Perg in a long time. Just, I mean, Akades, would you put her in usable? Because she could be used in uh, PvE content. Same with Sinful Angelica. This has some PvE content. LPK B tier, do you think so? I mean, she can watch out Sylvan. She can watch out Sylvan. Actually, I like that. Showmaker Crows, like you go usable. Wonder Silk? Speed Imprint. Watcher Shuri, Inos, Inos 2.0, maybe usable. Wanda, no thank you. I'll put the actual Arrowell up. Camilla, usable. Rickerus, Celeste, Chaos Sectax, Axe God, Commander Lorena, usable for PvE. This isn't just PvP, it's just mostly PvP. All right, that's my bad. I should add a PvP tier. Usable, Eaton's usable. Elsa, no. Gloomy Rain, I'm sure there's a memer that can do it. Hazel, no. I'm sure Hazel, somebody does. Kiki Revy, too! We tried to use him the other day. All right. Lorena, put down. Magic School or Scholar Doris, maybe you could use. I could see it potentially being something. Till down, Penelope. Resource reduction. A lot of people try to say use Penelope. Honestly, if anything, I should make a meme tier. Pernia, I'm not, not going to do it. Shadow Knight, Pillow's probably still okay. Aiden, where does Aiden belong nowadays? Oops. Oh, you can add comments. I don't know how I just did that, but I could have just added a comment. Man, tier lists are kind of nice. Sven at the bottom, Talia at the bottom. Arrowell under Carmen, I think. You guys agree? I feel like Arrowell's fallen a little bit. Arrowell's at least a... Carmen, I'd say S. A and A for new players. Yeah, I agree. Putting Penelope in a list feels so bad. Some of these characters, I honestly need to make a new tier. What is this tier? Memers are PVE uses. How's that tier sound? Camilla, probably memers. I, I mean, yeah, you could probably actually use her, but memer PV uses. I like that. Delete account tier. A little extreme. Do you agree? Watch a Shuri could still be B. Or no. Because it's a speed imprint. I don't think he's as good as Wonder Silk, but speed imprint, definitely. What happened to Arby? He is so high. Did he get buff? Do you guys think Arby's S also? Do you guys think Arby S or A? Arby's, his, his damage is insane. Ar, an RB fourth, fifth pick, your opponent doesn't. I think S is fine. Arby's damage is crackhead. Next to BBK, yeah. A, powerful. You think A? You think RB is weaker than BBK, actually. I think BBK should be above RB. But S is really good, too. S is fine. You think so? RB, S after watching last night. I, BBK, I think, is stronger than RB, but RB. Bo yeah, BBK is. I, I don't know. I wouldn't mind putting BBK in double S. I don't. I actually think you could. I think you put BBK in double S, RB in uh, S. I think that's even better. ML Sharoon S. I don't think ML Sharoon S. Guys, I don't think ML Sharoon S. Because if your opponent picks Landy, you have ML Sharoon. Because they picked DDR. You guys think ML Sharoon is us? She's fallen from where... I used to think she was the strongest character in the game. And after getting obliterated... 
Because, guys, it's very easy to counter pick a Dragon King. You pick DDR, they try to go Dragon King. You go AOL, the Dragon King, now it's useless. Also, you have to deal with Luna. You can never do that. It's hard for me to say Dragon King deserves higher. BBK double S tier, what a time to be alive. I mean, she's insane. But Mike's, thanks for follow. All right, any changes? Do you think now that we have Frida, Emma Ludwig should be higher? Where's Emma Ludwig? It's hard to put Emma Ludwig higher because there's only like a couple... Think about if you're if you're not cleaving and don't have turn one, you can't pick Ludwig. So you have to commit to turn one. Whereas a lot of these characters, you don't have to commit to anything and they're insane. Like you can pick Politus into a Zeo. You're not committing turn one, it's fine. Uh RB, you just pick at the end of your draft. He's insane. BBK, you pick anywhere. Senya, you pick anywhere. But Ludwig, you have to have specific draft for it. But he's insane, but you have to have the surrounding characters or he's useless. Whereas all these characters, look, I mean, every one of these characters standalone is a crackhead. Emma Katie's B, fair. I mean, same as those ones. That's fair. DJ B is B. Where do I have DJ B? Wait, DJ B is already at B, right? Oh, no, there he is. You think DJ B B? I mean, I've made Chloe's B. DJ B is probably better. Ein's triple S, yeah, triple S trash can. ML shoe fell off hard. You think ML shoe down one? Really? ML shoe gets out tempoed by some of the damage dealers, but I don't believe so. I think no, shoe's still S. Yeah, she's still S. She might, she was borderline double S for a while. Okay, now she's just S. Like, even though she fell, she, like, fell one step down the ladder. Any other change? Anyone doubting BBK didn't watch last night? I mean, watch any stream. Watch BBK go crack head mode. All right, guys. What do you think? Aiden B? All right, so that a powerful. This thing about most of the people are going to be watching this video. They're not going to be super in-game players. Meaning that Aiden, for them, is going to be better than say uh emperor level player playing anybody under emperor aiden's probably probably at least a she's just super nice anybody below champion it's gonna be good think about the kind of people that would be clicking a tier list they need to learn what's actually good so for newer players if you're a newer player aiden goes up here but i think i think that's a fair spot for aiden so for an overall average placement for her I think that's fair. Okay, I think that's good for a tier list. Aiden next to Stenny. Where's Stenny? Ooh, I have Stenny down in B. Should I bump Stenny up to... Because this is kind of PvE, too. It's hard to put Stenny at A on a tier list, though, whenever people are going to look at it and think PvP. If anything, she's the top of B. Hey, what's up, Joe? New players will not have Aiden built? What do you mean? You can have Aiden built in eight days as a new player. If you If you... On my guide series, usually I have Aiden by, what, day 12? And that's playing a couple hours a day. She's getting an EE. Paid title. Paid title. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's paid. Okay, I think, I think Spectani could go up. She is getting the EE. She has extra attack. And when you soul burn, she gets stacks immediately. So she starts ramping faster. She's good into Illinav. She's good into Haste. She could technically kind of be using Dragon Bride, but the problem is there's... I don't know. I think she's still pickable, but she will be banned most of the time. Too much AoE for Senya, but the thing is there's not that much AoE. If, if you pick Senya, your opponent won't pick AoE and you finish off the draft with a Senya. It does work. A lot of people, once you pick the Senya, they try to push away from AoE, but I also pre-ban Landy. So it's hard to put Senya up anywhere because if Landy exists, you lose the game. <laughs> Right. Or even AU Fiend. If AU Fiend or Landy exists, you're probably going to lose with Stenny. I got to put Stenny at B, man. She's fallen so hard. She's insane for PV and even better now with the E, but she's got to be high B. Stenny not the same tier? Yeah, she's not the same tier as these characters at all. Do you think Frida may help Stenny along with her EE? Yeah, I mean, as a new player, it'd, it'd be great. Just Candy, that's E7 or DDR. I mean, the, the entire Epic 7 is just Death to the Ray or ML Landy. That is the game. These two characters define the entire game. You cannot tell me otherwise. Suddenly going to get an anti-AOE buff? No, they gave her an EE, so she won't get a buff. You're going to pick a different blessing at restart? I'm picking Destina. 
I'm picking Destina. I will still probably take Stenny, but I'll explain both options. I'll explain RB and I'll explain Stenny. I will take Stenny though, just because just, just getting people into the game, I think beating all the PVE content is going to make people feel better. So I, guys, when I do, when I do guides, I take a psychological stand or like approach to the guide too. My goal is to get people to try the game and do whatever I can to where they will like the game more. That's why I do not suggest Montmorency. Suggesting Montmorency for people to go grind runes for is not going to help their mental in staying with the game. Okay. I put a lot more thought than you would initially think when going through and watching it. And that's why I break it up into days because it takes so many days to build a habit. So if I break it up into days and you're playing and you have a guide video over two weeks, you're more likely to stay with the game if you do that. So I try to take a lot of those practices and apply it to the content. So there's a reason some of the time I go away from the normal suggestions that people do. So you want to see it addicted? Yeah. And then I want you to use your Twitch Prime sub on me every month for the next six years. And that way I have re this is like my retirement plan. Hey guys, I'm making a retirement plan here. <laughs> but frankly, thanks for follow. Who would you pick for Moonlight first if you didn't get Stenny? Arby. It's Arby or Stenny. Just tune in. Comparing existing and new player gift. Is the words to start over? They're very similar. It's they're very similar. It depends on your account. Do you want to start over? Did you make any mistakes? If you made some mistakes restarting, guys, my main account isn't the first account I ever played. I restarted uh three months in, and my new account was infinitely better. So the more you learn, the better your new account's gonna be. So, honestly, if you played for a month and maybe you're getting a little bored, maybe your summons didn't go too well, making a new account isn't bad. My gear kind of ass. You can make a new one if you want, but I started like six days ago, my old account lost. Oof. But yeah, the rewards are basically the same. It's, you're gonna, it's super close. The important rewards we all get is the, is the thing. Okay, that is it though, guys. This is a tier list. Sorry, I yapped for a little bit. This is it. All the all the characters. I a lot of them are trash down at the bottom. Maybe there's some people that use some of them, but overall, I don't think many people will be using those characters. Next up, our triple S tier. These characters are just insane standalone units. If you get any of them, you might not be able to use them right away, but be very happy you have them. They will be super strong later. Our S tier. These are all super strong characters that I would say are slightly below the other ones. You can make arguments and move any of these characters up or down, depending on the player, depending on the play style you play. People have different opinions on them. Some people may think Bellion is the strongest character in the game. I think Death Dealer Ray is the strongest. Other people will say Emma Luna is the strongest character in the game, which she probably is, to be fair. But there are a lot of, a lot of arguments that you can make on all of these. A tier, S tier, people, different, depending on the player, people would bump them up or bump them down. But as long as the character is within any of the top tiers, it doesn't matter. That means the character is good. And if you have the character and want to learn how to use it, find someone who rates the character higher as a content creator, potentially watch other tier lists, and maybe look at the way that they play the game and you can learn from them. So it's been Mitchell Deity. If you have any other video suggestions, let me know. I will try to get as many different things that would help you guys out as possible. I'm going to try to make the guide as in-depth as possible, but not yap too much like I just did on this video. It will be more concise. So I'm excited to get on this journey. I will see you all in whatever the next video is. Peace out.